What's up? So everybody's been asking me to comment on this Logan Paul thing or whatever. Mm. And by everybody, I mean, I totally just lied just now. Like nobody asked me at all. Like not one person asked me to comment on it, but I saw it. I do have thoughts on it. So I'm going to say what I think. If you don't know who Logan Paul is, you were much like me the day before today, which would be yesterday. I don't know why I had to say it that way. That was just bizarre. I think I, I had a mini stroke in my head just now. That's probably what happened. I'm going to go to a doctor right after this. There's a CVS free clinic right over here. But um, yeah, I didn't know who he was. I vaguely knew who he was. It's like he's one of the Paul brothers. And I guess if your last name is Paul and you have a YouTube channel, then basically that's YouTube speak for douchebag. Like they're two blonde Nordic douchebags who I guess have a career from acting the ass and being douchebags like I know one of them and I'm gonna get them confused because I don't really care about either one of them they could all they could fucking you know decapitate themselves tomorrow and I wouldn't give a flying shit um one of them has a team like one of them I was always hopping up and down like he's you know he's running out of Adderall and shit like that he's always hopping up and down and making diss tracks on other YouTubers because he's really good at rapping and <laughs> he's so not and he's always got a bunch of demented 12 year olds hopping up and down behind him with his really horrible music and like he's another one who's just like holding them hostage or something. I don't know what's wrong with them. And the only thing I know about that guy, I think that's the other Paul. I think that's Jake Paul or Jack Off Paul or whatever the fuck Paul. Is that he was on like a news show. It was like, I watch news bloopers, which are actually kind of funny. And he was on one because his neighbors were complaining he was acting the ass. And they live in a really nice neighbor. It's like, you know, mansions and shit. How does this motherfucker have a mansion? What does he do? Does anybody know? Did Does he suck dick really well for a living? I mean, does he make like really great gay porn and saved up a lot of money? Do him and his brother do gay incest porn together? Is that like a thing they do? Like maybe that's how they're rich and well known and decided, fuck it, we'll make a YouTube channel off it. So uh, the Jake Paul, I think it is, he was hopping up and down on like they went to go interview him and they're like uh, why are you being such a douchebag don't you want your neighbors to like you he's like whoa, whoa, dab on the haters <laughs> so right away we know he's autistic like there's no question at this point that he was dropped on his head several times when he was a small baby or I think his mom tried to abort him like she stuck the knitting needle uppercut and it hit him in the head like you know what I mean it punctured some kind of brain cell up there and that's if you look under his floppy blonde hair he's got a little indentation right here and he's so we can't blame him for being that way and yeah, the news guy's like, hey, why are you doing this? Why are you being a dick? Why don't you just enjoy your mansion? And the uh, crazed, you know, 12-year-olds are hopping up and down behind him like, yeah, he's cool. Everything he does is cool. Can we have more cocaine now, please? Please? I'm fiending. So uh, he looks at the guy's shoes, the reporter's shoes, and goes, what? What are those? What? That's literally what he does. That's what you want on YouTube now and he's famous. Okay. But he's got a brother named Logan. Paul, I think that's the right name, who also does douchey things and goes around on his epic quest of douchiness. Here's where he fucked up. He went to Japan. I can't pronounce it. I don't know. It's called the Suicide Forest. And why they call it the Suicide Forest is because, listen, Japanese people are overworked. Let's just be real. Japanese people are the exact opposite of Americans, where we are underworked and we don't really want to work that much. Japanese people work from the time when they come out of the womb, they put the baby, they kind of prop it up and they make it so like Nike apparel. They make it like stitched together Nike clothing, even though it doesn't even, it shits itself. They don't care. It, it knows how to sew somehow. Japanese people work constantly. They go to school, I think, like six or seven days a week. No bullshit from elementary. So all the fucking kids who are bitching about, I don't want to go to school. It's, it's too, I'm too tired today. They go to school seven days a week. Shut the fuck up. You get a weekend off. What the fuck's wrong with you? I knew that growing up. I was like, shit, at least I'm not a Jap. I mean, <laughs> I mean shit, I'd be, I'd be a miserable motherfucker. And they work about like, what, 100 hour work weeks? I think they work, go home, have like a 10 minute power nap, wake up again, and work. And even the women do it. It's not just like the women are stay-at-home women. Not all of them. I don't think they, any of them really anymore. It's a very modernized country. Not that I've been. I do want to go and pretend I'm Godzilla and just scare them. But, uh, so yeah, they're really overworked. And this, the pressure to succeed out there is so, like, if you don't have, like, 80,000 jobs and don't work 100 hours a week, you're a failure in the eyes of the Japanese. You might as well be an American. You know what I mean? <laughs> you should go to America. You have American you know, disposition and attitude. Oh, oh, I only have three jobs. And I have no time to whack off. <laughs> ooh, boo, boo, boo. Why don't you go live in California with all the lazy people and smoke the marijuana? We'll get on that in a minute. But, um, so, yeah. They get so stressed out. You hear about it all the time. Suicide in Japan is sky high. They like are known for killing themselves. I swear to God, it's like a thing that they do. 
But there's a forest, and this is the weird part. It was actually in a movie, and I'm forgetting what the movie's name was. Hey, Internet Eric here, shout me out. Tell me what that movie is. You're the expert on movies. It's a horror film where a girl goes looking for a sister in that suicide Japan. She, they shot it there. So uh, it's a place where people go to hang themselves. But why a forest to go hang? Why is it this one place? That's weird. That is really creepy. It's not like, I mean, just throw yourself off a building. I'm not saying you should. I mean, I'm not saying you should throw yourself off a building or like if I was going to kill myself and I never will. But if I was going to, I would, of course, do it the right way where I'd show up in a clown get up to a preschool while they're having uh, snack time. I would say, hey, kids, you want to see something really fun? And I would jam a knife in my throat and just twist like this. The blood would spray all over them. And then I'd go, ta-da, and die. And you know what? They would be scarred for life for a little while, but they have an awesome story to tell. And to all those kids, if I ever did that, you're welcome. But, um... So guess who ends up in the suicide forest? Uh, douchey Paul, L Logan Paul. I know it's hard to differentiate the douche. He's like, okay, you know his other brother, Jake Paul, is like douche, all right? This guy's like douche squared. Like if you did a like hard mathematical equation of douche, he's douche to the 10th power. That's this guy. So I watched the video. And goes to the suicide forest and it's like, whoa, we're out here in the suicide forest. This is crazy. I can't believe it. It's like, wow. And then he's got like a bunch of demented 20 year olds behind him. Like he moved up from the 12 year olds that his other brother likes for some reason. But he's got like a demented crew of dumb fucks behind him. Like they are dumb. Look at their faces. There's not a thought in their head. I think they all share one single thought and that's why, why are we here listening to this idiot. So he walks through the fucking forest and then he stops like this and he goes, bruh. Bruh, is that a dead body? Is that a dead body? Do you guys see that? Is that a dead body? Whoa. Dude, you guys, it's crazy. There's a dead body. Wanna see? Wanna see? So he's like showing this poor fucker who just, I guess, it was fresh. Somebody, I think, some Japanese guard shows up and then like, I guess goes, you know, picks a guy's pulse and obviously he's dead. But he's still kind of fresh dead. So he just killed himself. Now, of course, he then did the right thing and I praise him. You know, he said, you know what? I'm gonna stop being a douche for a second. Somebody really just killed themselves. I'm fucked up by this. I mean, I know you guys want to know what I think about this. I will tell you later when I'm back at the hotel. And we're going to pack it up for today. Oh, no, he didn't because he's a fucking douche nozzle. That's right. No, no, he goes like, the, Whoa, look, I can't believe it. Whoa, it's so weird. It's like the craziest vlog I've ever done. Like the craziest vlog ever. And it's like, and you know, he keeps showing the dead body, right? I'm surprised he didn't go over there with a stick and go, <laughs> Look, look, you can poke him. Look, he didn't do anything. It's crazy. Whoa. Like they should have, he should have gotten like the 20 year olds that were with him. They should have climbed on top of the dead body and just rode it like a fucking demented tire swing. Just back and forth. <laughs> like, hey, let's, hey, is there a girl with us? Suck his dick, see if it still gets hard. <laughs> Fucking idiots, just idiots. So he starts doing all that shit, and then he knows he kind of fucked up, and this is why I think that because he goes like this. He goes, uh, you know, I think he cut camera for a second, and somebody's like, "You're gonna ask, you're gonna get a lot of hate." He didn't get how much hate he would get, but he comes back like this. He's like, "Yeah, suicide. It's like, don't do it. You know, like if you're gonna kill yourself, man, do it. It's like a thing not to do." And his friends, watch the video, are behind him. And he, like, turns the camera on them. And they have to come up with a thought. So it takes a minute because their ears start to bleed. And they go like this. Yeah, like, suicide. Like, what he said. Don't. People care about you. Talk to people. Or follow a mop-headed douchebag around. <laughs> Where are we? Anyway. So he does all this, and then that's when it blew up, is he showed his dead body, and he was really disrespectful about it, and he's laughing about it, and talking about the views he's gonna get, you fucking do. First he's off, he's in a douche hat, you know, a little animal hat, he thinks he's 12 years old, he's demented, I'm telling you. And he's <laughs> walking around the fucking, yeah. you're in Japan, motherfucker, act right, act right, you dumb bitch. Why the fuck are you walking around like a dumb American stereotype, you're embarrassing all of us, motherfucker. They should have kept... I wish he'd just gone to Iraq and acted like that. I wish they would have captured him and the last time we would have seen him would have been on a fucking ISIS video crying. That's the last time we would have seen this motherfucker. I can't stand bitches like this. Now, having said all that about him, I don't like him. think what he did was a douche. I don't believe his little apology. You know who made this guy? All the YouTubers bitching about him. Shut the fuck up. What? 
every fucking angry grandpa, all these other motherfuckers, you know, the cream stars and all that are sitting there giving this guy judgment, which he deserves. You guys are worse than he is. You know why you guys are worse than he is? Because you didn't mind pimping his channel out before, right? You didn't, If he's doing good, you're happy. Or you're just being jealous bitches. You're not doing this because you care about who hung themselves in Japan. You don't give a fuck about that motherfucker. So please spare me the fake fucking outrage. I see some girl come on her fucking little channel she's like half japanese she grew up there so she thinks she owns japan she's like i mean he disrespected our country and he disrespected everything it was so disgusting and now everybody look look how many open letters to jake paul there are don't you have anything better to do honestly you are concerned with jake paul's ass and i know i made a video about him but i'm really trying to make this about fake outrage and that's you dumb motherfuckers the people who made him are the ones who are guilty of this. Did you think he was gonna go there and do something bright? Did you think that following this guy on YouTube, Instagram, whatever the fuck, he was gonna go find the cure for cancer? No, he's gonna go act the ass. And then everybody's shocked and surprised that he acted the fucking ass. I'm not. If I saw that douche and I'd subscribe to him, I was like, why do you subscribe to him, Jay? Because he acts like the fucking asshole. He's retarded. I wanna see what retarded people do when they go to Japan. Jesus, fuck. Look, so, Spare me with your little fucking open letters. May open letter to this person, open letter to that person. You all have skeletons in your closet. All of you. I bet you if I dug up dirt on every one of you motherfuckers making a video about how bad and how sad he is, and he's a douchebag, I'd find some major shit about your ass. So shut your fucking mouth. Just shut the fuck up. Let me handle all this shit because I'm better at it than any of you will ever be. All of you motherfuckers out there, the big ones, making a fucking pootie pie talking about it. Who the, didn't you just call somebody a nigger? Didn't you just say that? Why, who, why are you talking about anything except Swedish meatballs, motherfucker? You should shut the fuck up kindly. Oh, make me famous so I can take his ass down. I'd love to do it. I'd love to be well, more well-known with my negativity than his ass, just so I could fucking rub it in his Swedish meatball fucking face. You fucking look like a demented cocker spaniel, motherfucker. Anyway, fuck him. And also, a little off note is, but also with fake outrages, I started noticing people were upset. I saw a, a news story about CNN, how there's growing outrage over them showing people smoking the pot on CNN. And I'm like, maybe that's just like some fake Fox News story. And you know, cause that's all they have to do now. They're like, hey, rawr, 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 look over here, no Russia. Rawr. But, um, <laughs> so I'm sitting there like, what the fuck are they talking about? Turns out Anderson Cooper and Andy Cohen, after they blew each other for on the, you know, the count of New Year's, they, um, went, they cut to California where one of the reporters was on a pot bus because pot was finally legalized for recreational use as well in California. And hey, I don't smoke pot. I know, surprise. I'm fucking, I would be horrible. But um, if you want to, who gives a shit? I don't give a fuck. I'm not worried about a pot act trying to fucking beat my ass. They can't get it together to kick my ass. There's nothing they can do. What are they gonna do? They're just gonna, hey man, 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 you see that? Yeah, fucking bird. You see it? He's walking away. Anyway, next. They're not gonna bother me. What the fuck do I care? But then I started seeing all these little blurbs about people are outraged. How dare CNN and their fake news show the marijuana and the children's eyes started to bleed when they saw it on the television. Lying parents, again, and fake outrage. So I looked under the comments of that particular, uh, where they show the New Year's Eve, where the lady, it's kind of funny, she's getting high. But uh, just like a contact high, but it's all around her. So I look at the comments, it's like, all these fucking parents with their shithead kids that nobody cares about. Like, I just don't understand. Like, I am like a, not a tight ass, which means you're a tight ass if you have to say that. But if like, you smoke marijuana, and now they're gonna think it's okay, what's next? Are they gonna start allowing people to do crack cocaine in the middle of the street? Maybe, I don't care. Why the fuck do I care? You know what I care about? You know what's, who's never been killed by anything? I mean, who's never what's never killed anybody? As far as a mass like epidemic all at once, crack cocaine. When has crack cocaine walked into a school and shot everybody there? Never. When has marijuana walked into a school and shot everybody there? Never. But you motherfuckers aren't worried about that. The same ones who are sitting there bitching with their fake outrage about weed, they don't, well, Second Amendment, we should still have it. The Second Amendment, we should still have it. How many shootings have there been? How many kids have been killed? Shut your goddamn mouth. I'm so sick of you mother. God, I hate people. I fucking hate people. But these people are going on and on. And I answered some of the comments in the, you know, my own personal style. Like one woman's like, I'm just so upset. I mean, I walk down the streets every day in San Francisco with my child and we have to dodge clouds and clouds of marijuana smoke. Lying cunt hair. You are a lying cunt hair with semen on it. Shut the fuck up. You're lying. There is no, I live in a city where people can smoke outside. I, right next to a bar. I work right next to a bar. They're always out there smoking. That would be like me saying I'm walking through their fucking gigantic smoke and I'm getting cancer right there and then every day. How many times do you walk past them, bitch? 
Do you find like a nearest thing of pot smokers and just like keep walking past with your shithead kid, you, shithead kid, you, shithead kid, and then when he starts to get a little like woozy or something like that, first of all, that's not gonna happen. Unless you're like hot boxing, right, where you're in a car and smoking. Bitch, please set the fuck up. And everybody else sitting there too, like, well, that's what you get with liberals, and that's what you get when, you know, Obama's in off. Oh, he's not? Oh, well, that's what you get when people smoke the marijuana. And then it got even better. People were like, oh, well, we shouldn't be worried about this. We should be worried about two faggots hosting New Year's Eve. No, you shouldn't be worried about two faggots hosting New Year's Eve. You should be worried about those two mean faggots hosting New Year's Eve. Two good gay guys hosting two New Year's Eve. I'll watch. Fuck, I'll blow them. I don't give a shit. I don't... <laughs> Who cares? Why do you care? Fuck. So, let's get this all straight. Logan Paul, wrapping this up here. Douchebag asshole. Here's how you hit him where it hurts. All the, all the people that subscribe to him and his brother, unsubscribe. They won't do shit like this. So you have to think where you stand, what side of the fence. Do you want somebody who will show a dead body? What if they've been one of your relatives or something like that? Do you want to support that person? If you do, cool, you're kind of an idiot, but that's great. Um, if you don't, unsubscribe. Make him not a thing on YouTube anymore. Or else he's gonna keep doing dumbassy, dumbassy, and dumbassier shit, and his brother will do dumbassy, dumbassy, and dumbassier shit, and you guys are the ones responsible. Nobody else, because you're making him. You can make or break the motherfucker. But for everybody who's making these little videos, open letters to him. This isn't an open letter. No, I don't care if he ever sees this or not. I think it was funny if he did, but whatever. All you making open letters to him, please shut the fuck up kindly and move on. Make an open letter about how you're going to cure cancer. Make an open letter about a walk you're going to do for breast cancer. Make an open letter about how, you know, you're going to go rescue some animals or something like that. Stop trying to ride a fucking tragedy's dick. That's almost worse than what he did. And for all of you who are worried about the smoking and the CNN and showing you my kid and my child, then your kid's a pussy. I'm sorry, your kid is the biggest fucking cupcake pussy and he's never going to make it in his life if a little bit of weed that he sees somewhere is going to break his fit. What is he going to take his trike and drive into the fucking San Francisco Bay and drown himself? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it.